Hello everyone. Today we are going to add a trail to this fireball. So when we shoot, you can see a visible trail of particles that uh, burst in outwards the movement direction of the particle, the fireball. So that's what we are going to work on today. And as you can see here, we don't have a fire. We don't have a trail at the moment. The fireball is in the hand of the character. It appears only when we shoot it. Right, let's see how to implement this today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Right, so in this magic attack system, at the moment, uh, when the magic ball is spawned in the hand, it's fine, but when I shoot with it, we don't really see like a trail behind the magic the fireball uh, because this uh, particle effect we have implemented don't have a trail like effect so let's implement that part today right so here is the fireball effect and i'll duplicate this fountain I'll rename this trail. So for the trail, I don't need this point attraction force and also a scale color. We should be able to see it from the beginning. So let me just move this curve. Closer. Right. And sphere location, I'll reduce it to like 5. Okay, now this should be, uh, the particles should be uh, ejecting towards one direction to get a trail-like effect. So, what can we do is um, let's add a velocity in corn right and corn axis if I keep X I'll reduce the corn number 10 and velocity strength let's use something like 200 now you can see a visible trail right x1 means if i drag and drop this fireball you can see the this particle is this trail is uh, trail particles are bursting towards the forward axis of the particle effect but it should be backward that means uh, when the particle moves forward the trail should be behind the character so now let me read this if I show it uh, well, actually, I haven't considered the direction or rotation of the particle when I do the shooting. So let me set the transform rotation to that forward. Sorry. Ah, yeah, get at the rotation. Let's see what happens if I use that rotation. Mm -hmm. Here we need to keep word. Just 
shall not correct. So forward vector. from x vector right uh, that's also not correct but we can try one more thing we have when we shoot the fireball we have shoot ball if here uh, we have the velocity and what we can do is we from the velocity now from the direction we can get rotation no. rotation from x vector The rotation right when we shoot the direction is correct okay so now what we have to do is when we shoot we have to disable this fountain and enable the trail so i'll change this uh, name of this instead of fountain summer because this is something like someone in a firewall this is trial that's fine so so to do this enabling and disabling actually there is a function because uh, set enable emitter enable this there is a function like this but uh, this function is not working as for the so I just did some searching and it seems that this function is not currently implemented so what we can do is we can add two user parameters Uh, float some red and another float parameter red So trail rate by default trail rate should be zero someone rate should be one and here under spawn rate we can multiply this with the float multiply float here I'll use uh, user parameter trail rate so when the trail rate see now since the trail rate is zero we don't see the trail anymore and here for the summon particle let's 
multiply add another multiply float and link with the user parameter someone right and yeah someone right is oh wait this was 500 right oh uh, this one should be 200 to have a trail now to preview that if i set the trail rate to one you can see the trail like this if i make it two you can see actually multiplication of the amount of particles that is bursting backwards make it if i make it one and if i may set the summon rate to zero you can see that the particles that are attracted towards the ball are removed but by default it should be one this must be zero and when we shoot the ball what we have to do is get the magic effects set niagara float set niagara variable float set user dot trail rate to one you should be capital i'm sure about that and then set someone red to zero Now we don't have the trail when we summon the fireball, but we shoot the trail is there. See, all right, so that's exactly the way we needed it. Um, even if I change the direction, it is working fine. Maybe let's increase this amount of particles. To like 400 so we can see a much thicker trail. So I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Next time let's look into what happens when this fireball hit another character and how it, that character should react. And thanks for watching. So as always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.